Mina san konnichiwa. Sensei Joe back at it again with his awesome hair. Kimi no. <laughs> Today I'm gonna teach you an extremely useful expression. You can use this word in many situations, so let me show you. The expression is. Otto. Otto. Like O T T O. Otto. Otto is like saying whoa in English. When you're walking down the street happily and merrily, merrily, merrily. And then you trip and almost fall. In English you can say whoa. In Japanese you can say otto. But otto is mainly used when you can still manage yourself. If you're like really on the edge of slamming your face on the ground, you don't say otto. Now this is where the word gets tricky and becomes different from the whoa in English because whoa can uh, be used in more situations, like even when someone's about to get hit by a car, you say like "whoa," right? But in Japanese, you don't say "otto," unless you're watching something like boxing or wrestling or something. But that's another you know, whole different story. You basically say "otto" when you can still manage yourself, just like a light tripping. It's like "otto." It's kind of like "whoa, that was close." Yeah, that's more like it. "Whoa, that was close." "Whoa, that was close." "Whoa, whoa, 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 that was close." There's a different variation of this word. You can say "otto." Same usage. You can use it when uh, something is about to fall, like a bag about to fall from the table and you're like catching it. Playing catch ball with your friend, you almost missed the ball, you're like You might run into this word when you're watching anime. Whoa there, not so fast. This whoa there is otto. Let's just say the main character tries to leave the place and the villain is like, whoa, not so fast. Another usage is when you're talking with your friends and then one of your friends like, you know, I think that girl is kind of cute. And then friends around him is going to be like, hey, 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 look who's in love kind of thing. That whoa is going to be like, oto. So you can use it like that too. And yet another usage, like I already said, when you're watching boxing, wrestling or something like that on TV and when there's a Japanese uh, narrator, you might often hear Oto! You, you almost never hear this in daily conversation. But when a boxer hits the opponent's face or something and it's really something big, the announcer might go Oto! Miyuku! Miyuku! Ata! So in this situation is like Whoa! Too. Yeah. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe. It really means a lot to my nipples. Until next time, Sensei Joe. Mata ne.